It's crazy. It's wrong. And that's part of the loopholes that I think we need to be closing. So I agree. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming and thank you for listening. I appreciate that. Um, I guess my question would be, and I'll try to explain why, my question is uh, not necessarily how are you going to get things done, but will Congress get, get things done? Because I didn't vote for you. I'll be honest with you. I don't agree with some of the things that you say, and I don't agree with some of the others. But what we watched, I think, what we watched in the dead ceiling debates was an embarrassment. Yes. Yeah.
embarrassed by our behavior, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is worse yeah. than unruly school children. <laughs> some respect tossed back and forth like you don't believe yourself. <laughs> the question I have is this. I have, I have lots of questions. One about us, foreign aid for China. How ridiculous. I can't believe yeah. it. I heard yeah. it. I read it. I can't believe it. And I can't believe we have 535 people in Congress that don't even question that. I'm not oh. talking to you. I'm just talking about all 535 as well as the president of his entire cabinet. Why, why is it? That, that's ridiculous. The next thing is, I, I saw in the paper where the debt has been raised so many times over the last 10 years. When the Democrats are in control, they vote for it. When the Republicans are in control, they vote for it. When they're not, it's vice versa, opposite, opposite. Right. So this thing has not been created in the last two and a half, three years. It's been created in the last 40 years. And, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm not a Republican. I don't want to be affiliated with them. I don't want to be affiliated with the Democrats. I'm an independent thinker. And I don't think that a control how you vote, or right. how any other Democrats vote. <laughs> so it's obvious that Congress is, is in a gridlock. Do I trust that they're going to solve this? No. But we're going to have a financial calamity that's going to be far worse than the Great Depression ever was if we don't get our act together and listen to each other and finally reach some kind of a resolution to this problem. We spend too much money. Now, I, I have a nice retirement. My wife's retired to school teacher. I wouldn't be opposed if somebody raised my taxes. If, if there was a balanced budget that I knew that that money would be spent wisely and not squandered off because it's not their money. And I, and I think that I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about all these long term career politicians. They spend it like it's not their money. It is our money, it's not theirs. And I want to spend wisely. So if there's one thing you can carry back to Washington, that's it. I'm sick and tired of the Republicans. I'm sick and tired of the Democrats. When are we going to compromise? And if it, if it means raising taxes a little, but cutting a lot of spending, I'm for it. I want this country back to where it was. I second that. Yeah. 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 Tell your leadership yet. Don't tell us that. My name is Shelby Seal. 